Hey everyone. Okay, so I hope we are live now. So, if you don't know me, my name is Shilpa and you are on my Facebook page and we are going live right now and you're able to see my face, I think like a white ghost because you know, I'm sitting on the window and the light is coming directly on my face. So, I'm really excited today because um, today is the li uh, today is like the official release of the trailer of first ever um, class you know the the trailer that i designed of my first ever class today is the release of that hi annette and hi nimi i saw you both joined in yay um i thought if even one person joined the live stream i'll just go ahead with it so this live stream is actually you know to celebrate the launch the official launch of the trailer of my class and i'm really excited about that the entire class has turned out to be exactly the way my vision was and i'm very happy the way it is so in celebration or in honor of that in in the happiness of that you know let's uh, have this live stream together and in this live stream i have actually decided that Hi Annette <laughs> and in this live stream I actually decided that I am going to draw in front of you the drawing of a painting that will be inspired by your photograph so you know I'm not gonna draw just anything if you want you know you can post photographs on my Facebook page like go to my Facebook page and post a photograph of yourself over there and I will not draw or paint you but inspired by your photograph, I will draw some painting or, you know, draw a drawing and then convert it into a painting. So that is my plan. And my painting, the, this, this official painting right here, uh, that is on my course, that is on my class, that took actually eight hours to me. I mean, I have recorded footage of eight hours. It actually took more than that you know for me to actually get it done on paper so I just can't you know complete the entire painting or drawing of you over here in just one go I cannot do that but you know uh, in one and a half hours that I am with you over here from now let's see what I what we can come up with it cannot be complete painting of course we will have to divide this live stream in parts like I'll take a, a live stream session today and then from tomorrow for three days my kids have holidays then the second session will go on to Monday so we will divide this live stream into such parts but for now let's see whatever we can do with this one and a half hours and I'm really excited about that what we can come up with so you know if you are watching over here live just post your photograph that you would li like me to paint on my Facebook page and you know ooh, let's start checking as soon as i start getting photographs on my facebook page maybe you know i'll see which photographs and which photograph inspires me the most and maybe we can draw or paint that so let's get started with that or if you want you can even uh, post your photograph in under the comments under this live stream so I'm waiting. Ooh, we are six of us. Whoever is watching right now, you know, just make sure to say hi so that I know who you are or who is watching right here. Okay, so um, 
no photograph seem to be coming over here. If no photograph seems to be coming here in Hi Diana. Hi. Oh okay, okay, okay. I'll hold on, Nimi. I'll hold on. <laughs> Again, okay, five minutes of no photograph start coming uh, out on my Facebook page. I may, I may have to choose, select a photograph of my own to, you know, convert it into painting. Okay. Okay, so maybe, you know, I'll have to select my own photograph over here and let's get on to the drawing part. I'll just, you know, move the camera on this paper that I have set up right here. Let me just move the camera properly to here. Okay. Hi Kuldeep Bhaiya, <laughs> how are you? Just setting up the camera right here. Okay, so this is a page and we'll be painting or drawing. Actually, you know, we'll first get started with the drawing on this. I'll put my mouse aside. I have my paper and if you just, just in case you're wondering, just this is my Canson Mixed Media Imagined Paper. This is this this paper that I am using right here okay so once again if you are live over here right now this live stream is in uh, the celebration of the launch of my official trailer and uh, of my first ever class and if you have not watched my official trailer yet you just have to watch that even the trailer is so awesome and it just gives you a glimpse of how my class is actually looking you know that's that is just a glimpse of the entire class so you know i'll just once again post the link to that trailer on my page and you can just watch it from there. Okay, so it is right there. Okay, Nimi, you have a photograph for us. And, okay, I'll just check the photograph for you, Nimi, but we have my trailer right there on my page. Just in case you would like to check that out. I'm just checking out for the photograph that Nimi has for us to paint. Okay. Hi Remy, I don't have any photograph over here. I don't know where you posted. I cannot see any photograph over here. Yeah, I, I know. I mean... Even the random pick, I'm not able to see any photograph on my page. Have you posted on my Facebook page, right? Okay, you know, do one thing, post it as a... Post it as a comment. 
uh, maybe on this live session. Post it as a comment because I cannot see any photograph on my page. Just in just in case if you are wondering uh, this live stream about you will you can post any photograph on my page or under this live stream and I will convert that into my style of painting and painting or drawing so you know just you just have to post a photograph of yours and Nimi says that she has posted one but I am not able to find any yeah you're supposed not able to find it anyways if you have any photograph that you would like me to convert into painting just post it on my page or maybe under the comments in this uh, in this stream Hi Nemi, I'm still not able to find any photographs so you know I'll just you know get started with the photograph that I have in front of me um, that I saw on internet and it's beautiful so let's just, just let's just get started with that. So you know I actually I mark, you know, where exactly I want, you know, all the things to go. And, you know, all the basics of the drawing, of drawing a face, I've explained that um, in the class. That, you know, that is the very first class of Artisans Art Academy, which is how to draw a mixed media girl with the, uh, with the bird. Which is this one right here. I've explained all the basics of how to draw the face right there. So, you know, I always kind of start my faces or drawings with the basic, you know, outline and only then I move forward to adding any uh, details. So, you know, I've never uh, made a drawing or painting like that where I'm actually, you know, talking so much and at the same time I'm kind of, kind of drawing. So, I'm a bit nervous about this live stream, how it's going to go. So, you know, if I make any mistakes, take over here or do anything um here and there just just bear with me because you know even i'm learning and this is my first time uh with the live stream So if you have any question that uh, must be there like in your mind or in your heart that um, you have wanted to ask me or as an artist you want to know, uh, if you have any question, you know, uh, just feel free to ask me and I will try my best to think of, you know, think and answer you properly at the time I'm uh, painting as well because this is something that I've never done like. <laughs> I don't really talk when I'm painting when I'm painting is like kind of a meditative process for me you know I'm I just need that you know complete silence with me when I'm painting so it's not really possible or maybe I don't know no I don't know if it's possible or not because I have not really tried ever Thanks, Kuldeepaya. <laughs> I really appreciate the support. But uh, rest of you, if you don't know, uh, my brother-in-law is over here as well with all of us in the live stream. And he's so supportive. He's like, you will rock. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. And support from family, of course, means a lot. <laughs> This 
this photograph that I'm drawing is of this, you know, kind of rad girl with, um, with an attitude and all that stuff. She's in this, you know, kind of shirt with this open collar over here. So, So again, I'm in the zone <laughs> where my mouth is shut, but it's okay. You can all interact with each other if you want in the comment section below. While I'm trying to get this face. Big hello to all the new people who've joined in right here. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask and I'll get back to you with the answer. Um, in five minutes, you know, I'll just take a little break and I'll move the camera to my face when I'll be answering all your questions. Because, you know, I have a really nice, a really uh, amazing question that I got on my uh, YouTube, one of my YouTube videos. And in that, you know, that guy who asked that question, he said, he was asking about, you know, uh, that he wants to be that about, just like his favorite artist. And his favorite artist, if you don't know, Woka. Woka was his favorite artist, he said. And he said that he just wants to be like them. And about me, he was asking that, you know, how did you, you know, from drawing continuously how did you turn into a professional you know that is his question i just read out the question when i'll be answering that from my youtube video after i'm you know a bit done with these eyes
Sorry, this live stream is gonna go silent in between like this because you know. Oh, it's so. No, it's not. Kind of. I don't know. I'm not used to talking while painting. So I just have to practice that, you know, keeping my mouth going while painting. I just, you know, get lost in what I'm doing and it's. It just gets. These are, you know, all the curls dropping down from her hair. Just get some details on the curls over here. When you... These are, you know, all the curls on her hair, coming out of her hair. So let's give her some curls over here as well. Let her curls fall through her shirt. So, you know, all this, not, all this is not in the reference photograph that I'm using you know all this all these extra things that I add in my paintings you know like you know I can imagine the curls falling down from hair now I want to exaggerate her face also a little bit more I want to make it a little bit more taller so that is what I'm doing away all this all these things are not in the photograph that I am looking at right now these are all you know i i add a lot of my imagination or my thought process or you know i don't know my weird feelings to my paintings so you know i love doing that and this is no i'm not just going to leave her with these extra curls that are coming down from her hair from her hair down her hair i'm not just going to leave her till that let me just give her some lips that are extremely like I really like like big lips. I just cannot draw thin ones. So that is what I'm trying. I'll be trying to get here. So let's just go in for that. So I'll just, you know, for drawing the lips, let me give you just a little tutorial on this, you know, how I'm drawing the lips. So for that, I first always kind of start with this V, this little V that is um, there on the top lip. And then I'm at the end of the eyeball see this is the end of the eyeball and this is the end of the eyeball so you know this and by the end i mean this is the inner side of the eyeball and this is the inner side of the eyeball okay so you take the make a line at the inner side of the eyeball and the ends of the inner side of the eyeball like this is the width of your lips this is the actual width of your lips so this is how you know wide your lips should officially be it is not necessary if you want you can make your lips this wide as well like you can go in for this wide as well but officially they are this but you know uh, the proportions official proportions you know they keep changing person to person you know like if i tell you that uh, the lips the height of the lips should be this much it is not necessary that it has to be this much because if you look at the various ethnicities like if you look at someone with african lips you know he may have such you know fat or big lips or if you may look if you look at the chinese uh, lips of the chinese people yeah. so you know they will be something like this so it depends on person to person but you know officially the size of the or the width of the lips is the mark that we get at the end of the eyeballs was i clear with that let me know if you uh, understood that so 
it's not necessary that we follow the official thing but you know it just gives a gives us a little guideline of how things are or how things i mean should be to look in proportion and these guidelines really help when you you know trying to draw something from your imagination that time you know, when you're drawing a face completely from your imagination you know knowing these guidelines really help Here we go with the face. Okay, so first we started with the upper lip and then we marked the guideline of how wide we want our lips to be. And then we moved on further with the lower lip. Let's make it like, like this. This does not look exactly what I wanted it to be like. So, you know, I'll just go in with this again. I think, you know, I... Yes, now it's kind of coming together the way I want it. That is it. These are all the these are our lips and these are the little teeth that are that we can see through the lips. That is it. We'll rub the little guidelines that we had created right here. So where yeah, I was you know, just drawing the face, um, just you know, because I know how to draw the face, so I was just doing that. But you know, while I am in that uh, class, that is my first official class of Artificials and Art Academy, where I teach you how to draw this face. In that class, you know, we first completely learn how to draw the front face with proportions. You know, I'll explain you each and every little proportion, and then we move on to you know. Uh, paint draw then we move on to learning how to draw this face right here so you know we are kind of done with the basic drawing of the face right here. so this is the basic drawing and over oh, this drawing now ha that you know I add a lot of my imagination or a lot of my personality when I'm done with the base you know the face or whatever I need over here and this is the time I will add a lot of extra things that I like to do right here. For, uh, for example, for this as well, you know, after I was done with the drawing of the face, a lot of extra things, you know, like these, not extra, th extra things, but the things that make the complete story of a painting. Like, you know, these birds complete the story that is this painting trying to tell you. You know, this, these feathers falling over here, they are trying to tell you the personality of this uh, girl that I, we have painted right here. 
and you know all these all these little things like this butterfly this tattoo on her shoulder all these things are kind of defining this girl and defining the entire painting for us so you know uh, after i am done with just making the face the drawing of the face and after that i add a lot of personality to my paintings through you know adding all this stuff out of my imagination like like you know adding a bird over here was a complete part of my imagination like adding uh, this tattoo right here was a complete part of my imagination i had never i've never seen such a thing in real life so you know this painting this drawing as well give uh, will get a lot of my personality uh by all the by all the little things that i will add to it so before moving further you know to adding the personality to it to giving it some depth let's move on and see uh let's move on and I'll just ask I'll just answer the question that you had for me so i will try and move on this camera towards me i hope it does not fall down okay so as you saw we are done with the drawing of the face and as i told you there's a lot left that i need to add for the face but i will not do that myself today i will do it with the help of you guys so as i told you in this painting there you see a lot of extra things that is me that is like i am adding that according to my personality so the drawing that we did right here you have to tell me like you imagine something and tell me that you know shilpa i want you to add this or shilpa i want you to add that so you come up with something of your imagination and tell me and then and then i will add uh, those things to the drawing but before that till you come up with your own imagination of what you want what you would like me to add to this drawing let me just answer a really awesome question that renuka krishnan has asked thank you renuk thank you so much renuka for the lovely question because this is one question that i get a lot but before telling you what the question is and before actually uh, answering that question let me just show you this drawing once again i'll just you know show you this drawing once again look at this drawing once again and look at this drawing as well like in this drawing as i told you i have added a lot of elements of my own imagination this drawing is about you the uh, the people who are watching this live stream this is about you and you have to tell me that what you would like to add in this drawing start your imagination going you know start with thinking of what you would like to add on this you know maybe you can tell me that oh i would like a butterfly to go from here or maybe you can tell me that oh so a tattoo will be awesome on her neck on her neck around her uh, shoulder and neck you know because maybe that will give, give a more personality to her rad look or you can just make you can even make a bird sit on her head or you can do whatever you like just you know go with your imagination and in the comments below in the live stream tell me what do you think i should add in this girl till i just uh share with you the question that was asked by renuka so renuka uh, krishnan asks once again thank you for the question renuka and she says when you paint portrait how do you choose the colors for shading like i love the combo of blue and green you go with is there a thumb rule to follow okay so that's a great question about the colors is the main main thing that i get um, from my audience because uh, the colors are the main thing that speak out when it uh, when it comes to my painting so when you paint a portrait how do you choose the colors for shading so renuka i when i uh, let's imagine this painting that i'm doing right here when i will paint this portrait right here i will not straight away go with the exact vision of what color i want to put where i will just what i'll do is i will just pick up one of my favorite colors whichever it is imagine just imagine if i start painting the painting with this blue color and this is the cerulean blue color 
and uh, when i start sorry i'm just getting distracted with you <laughs> with you know all the comments there but sorry i it, just imagine that i start painting with this color right here and why while paint i'm i started painting with this color because that is my favorite color okay so when i'm starting out i don't really think about what i want to paint then i will pick up some other another color that is my favorite color so maybe imagine if this blue if i pick up this yellow so even for my second color i'm not thinking which color i am picking up i just pick up colors that are in front of me and that speak to me at that time and that i think will look awesome on my painting on that are my favorite so you know the colors that i enjoy the most at least one or two colors i pick up those first and then what i do is after that the actual you know color theory part comes into action you know if i if i'm using blue and yellow then you know my mind will think about which colors will look good with the colors that i have already used so if i am using blue at a certain area and if i am using yellow at a certain area i'll think about all the all the studies that i have had with my color theory all the training at my art school that i have got with my with using my colors and values and all that stuff so i will think about all that and that will help me take the decision not not i don't actually sit and think about all that it's like you know because i have studied my color theory because i know you know which colors work well with which color you know i will automatically then decide according to the colors that i have already used which color should i go with next so that is how i go about choosing my colors with in short if i was not clear in short if the starting part of choosing my color is just random the next part of choosing my color is not random it is it is you know it is like i know what i am placing as a color like you start with whatever you want but as you move ahead you just think about which which color or which stroke will look good with what so renuka are you there um yeah renuka are you are you there i hope you got my answer or is there any all of all the others who are listening who were listening to this answer was it helpful i hope it was i don't know if 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 you have any question or if there's any part of this answer that you did not understand just ask me and i will let you know um let you know the answer yes hi renuka was this clear with you <laughs> so in short you know one more advice that i would like to give a uh, somebody is hi so renuka you asking where can i read more about color theory okay so just within just within a month or so most probably in january not within a month uh, today is 8th of december and till 8th of december i have my son's holidays so so you know <laughs> I have filmed an entire video detailed about color theory which is going to be a free class an absolute free class for my artisans art academy which will release around end of january and i have filmed that video because i have not seen all that information together in one video anywhere on youtube and i wanted that information to be there for anybody who wanted to join my artisans art academy any time i wanted that information for them to go for free the color theory because you know that is the basic thing that i think everybody should understand if you are interested in colors and how they work so i have made a really detailed video which will release at the end of january because the christmas vacations of my kids i cannot release it before that otherwise it is completely ready uh, it is completely edited and it is completely uploaded as well but i need to film the free tutorial that needs to go in with that color theory so it is held back for that so 
around the end of January, I think I will release that free uh, art theory video with a free tutorial on Additional Art Academy. So do stay tuned for that, and that is where exactly you will fall. You will find all the information that I think you know one needs to know about you know colors. The, all the basic information, at least that one needs to know about colors and how they work. And uh, if you want to get if you want to know exactly when I release that which is a completely free class which has a free painting tutorial and a color theory if you want to when, know when I release that then don't forget to subscribe to my newsletters maybe you know I'll just quickly um, quickly post on how you can subscribe to my newsletter soon I'll put, quickly post a link on my Facebook page on how you can subscribe to my newsletters. And I think, you know, just it's just a little form that you have to fill in with your name and um, name and email ID. That's it, you know, nothing else. I'll just quickly post that. Or if you go to just articles.com on front page itself, you get... Um, Okay, then just you just do one thing. Go to articles.com. That is a r t y s h i l s articles.com. And on the front landing page itself, you will got get a little form that which will subscribe you to the, my newsletters. And on that news newsletter, those on that newsletters, I will be you know announcing first whenever I release that um, free class for you all. So we have one suggestion over here. Oh, we had one suggestion over here. Okay, I mean, I'm not able to see that comment once again. I'm not sure if somebody deleted it or what. But uh, I don't know, I don't mean I don't remember the name as well, but somebody said that I should put a crown on that girl. <laughs> so that sounds interesting. If you are there who said to put a crown on that girl, just say hi because I just cannot find your name and your comment. I just remember reading that comment, but I just cannot find it uh, the comment and your name there again. So uh, you suggested that put a crown on that girl, which uh, sound interest, sounds interesting. But you know, we need something more. We need something more. We need suggestions right here. Look at this girl right here. I don't know if you will be able to see like this. Look at this girl right here, and tell me that if you were painting this or drawing this, I'll just you know uh, once again move the camera to my drawing over here, and let's see if. Let's see if, you know, uh, if we get some more suggestions about what you would like to draw on top of her to give her some more personality. Let's see what you come up with. For me, you know, I think I really would like to give her, a, you know, kind of a tattoo that is like coming out from here. Some, you know, really um, not a subtle tattoo like a mandala or anything, like a, like kind of a fierce tattoo, like of a snake or something. Not a snake. I don't know. I'm thinking of something like some nice tattoo over here. Till then, you know, as we move forward with the drawing, just like Renuka, if you have any question in your mind, just, you know, feel free to ask and we will go forward and I will go forward answering that uh, once, you know, I take a break next time from this drawing. Till then, you know, I'm just thinking about exactly what we need here.
Maybe you know we can like give her a tattoo with something written over here. In my last painting as well, I wanted to do that. In this painting as well, I wanted to do that. You know, I wanted to give her a tattoo on her neck right here. You know, with something written like a dreamer or you know, um, maybe you know, live your dream over here. And uh, I asked you all on the Facebook page as well on my Facebook page. Uh, that should it be dreamer or should it be live your dream so so many of you it was like a complete contradiction everywhere yeah, like some people said it should be live your dream and some come some people said so it should be dreamer so but in you know in, i ended up doing nothing <laughs> I forgot the ear at this side. Okay, I'm gonna pause over here. I'm not doing anything. That's because I'm thinking, you know, of how to build the personality for this girl right here. What should I do, you know? Because she's not the kind of girl, I mean, she does not look like the kind of girl who. Maybe we are, maybe I'll do this. Maybe to her as well. I want to give some feathers right here. Yes, I got an idea. Like, let's do this. You know, what we will do is I. I I want to, I know what I want to do. I want to, you know, make her hair colored, like, you know, uh, the shade of blue and pink over here. And over here as well, I want to give a colored hair um, that are there, uh, to my, that are there trending right now. And in those colored hair, there will be these feathers, you know, coming out. And these feathers will be neutral. These feathers are falling down from her hair. But they, they are not ex extreme bright colors, colored feathers. They are like, you know, neutral feathers. And you know, one, two feathers are falling down from here, but one feather will go. On this side, I'll just have one feather. And that's going over here. And over here I want to show as if you know the colors are kind of falling down. So 
the concept that we have over here is that the colors are falling down like you know maybe red or in yellow or maybe you know blue and green they are falling down the colors of various shades are falling down from here okay so finally i have the concept the concept of this drawing is we will have the colors falling down from here the actual you know as if the colors are dropping down from here and these are the colors that are falling down and then these colors as they fall down they convert the they spread themselves you know into this uh, face or into this painting right here and you know i will show as if as if you know these colors are spreading some from here as well a little droplet here and there wow i absolutely love it okay so this is it the colors are falling down from here from here we get the face and the colors are spreading elsewhere as well but these colors are converting them them into this face and and you know these are like this is like getting this is like sorry these colors are like getting converted into this beautiful painting as they go down and as the painting comes here it is the colors are like getting blended like getting here and there once again great i'm very happy with the concept and next i will go ahead with the painting of this concept on monday and right now i am just you know going to use these teller pens and i'll take this 0 0.5 and I'll just, you know, outline the entire thing. And in between, if I feel that I need to add something, which I do need to add something, let's give her a little tattoo under her eye. Or maybe a little tattoo on her neck right here. Okay, then suggest some word that you would like me to put as a tattoo on her neck right here. Suggest a word quickly. I'm looking at the comments right now. Can you suggest a word that you can, that you know, you think I can use as a tattoo on her neck? Maybe fierce. What do you think of fierce? Fierce, like over here. Wow. This girl, you know, kind of looks like it represents me in a sense. It feels like as if I've drawn myself, you know, just just this this completely came out to be kind of my personality you know completely drenched or you know created out of colors this is how i work <laughs> i think you know anyways you know let's not go into that detail but um, okay so nimi says some no sorry anit says some flower in some flowers in her hair and Nimi says floral head red. Great. Sorry, I just saw your comment, Nimi and Annette. You know, I did not realize that the comments comments was over there. But this is the what we came up with, um, Nimi, Annette, and Renuka. And I really hope that you enjoyed this. Do you like this concept as well? Because, you know, I can completely imagine this in as a painting that we will be painting on Monday. Monday, I'll be coming back with this live, live stream once again. And I'll be painting this painting in front of you. Let's see how it comes out on Monday after painting. But I think it'll look good. Till then, tell me something, you know, I'm, I'm just, 
till then I'm just outlining the entire drawing For everyone who started out with this live stream with me and who are there till here, I'd really like to thank you for the support because it really means a lot to me, you know. For me, my art is not at all, you know, to keep it with me. We just, I just don't enjoy my art or enjoy my paintings when they are just with me. My art is, you know, meant to be shared with the world maybe you know this is why i make art its purpose is to be shared its its purpose is not to just have life on paper or have life on canvas my art actually is there to serve you so when you join my purpose and when you you know join in my <sighs> in endeavors or projects that i'm working on you know it it gives complete meaning to, to whatever i do so really means a lot to me if you have been here till the end and if you are still there so this is you know the what you see in my videos is not the actual speed this is the actual speed you know the entire process of making painting is really really kind of very slow and this is my first live for, for <laughs> sorry <laughs> and this is my first official live stream as well so you know i'm kind of a bit nervous as well But I hope, you know, it was not like, if it, I hope it was okay. It was not boring. I hope you're enjoying that. Let me know if you are there in the comments below, if you are enjoying this live stream. And if you would like more of this, you know, if you just are happy with my uh, YouTube videos and Artisans Art Academy uh, things, then I'm more than happy to bring that for you. 
but if you are enjoying this live stream i really don't mind doing this regularly because i of course regularly paint i only have to switch on the camera and come live for you all that is it i don't have to do anything else and it makes sense coming live and doing all this only if you are actually enjoying it Wow, you know, I think this concept actually represents me so much that I really want to paint it very nicely and convert it in the, as the official, you know, uh, photograph of um, Arishal's Art Academy. I'm not sure if that will happen, but this really speaks to me the way it turned out to be. So, you know, this is actually how my drawings are before painting. They, they don't really start start with anything like meaningful. Today I'm going to paint something with a message and all that stuff. They don't start like that. They start with just a blank head of me sitting right there and, you know, start drawing anything I like. And then that drawing in turn takes its own path takes its own way and you know whatever is there in my subconscious mind or whatever has been there in my heart or imagination it just comes out in these drawings and I absolutely love this part about this painting uh, about you know my paintings or the entire painting process in itself, you know, I just absolutely in love with this part, the surprises it brings to me, you know. How unpredictable it can be. But I'm really proud of this thing that, you know, I officially had a complete live stream in <laughs> 2016 itself. So it counts as one more achievement of 2016. I did not wait for 2017 to come over to have a live stream for you all because this is really intimidating, intimidating. You know, live stream is kind of putting yourself out there in front of everyone to to judge and know exactly what you are with your <laughs> drawing in my videos there is a lot of go editing going on when i'm speaking you will you always hear me speak like like that like that you know in one go i'm done with whatever i wanted to share and and it's so perfect and all my mistakes also in my videos has been edited the rubbing part and all that has been edited you know there's nothing like that in my videos but over here, it's like completely I'm exposing my uh, la my thought process while I'm drawing, my actual drawing. I'm completely exposing everything. But that's okay. But that's okay because, uh, I don't know, this is, this is real me. And it is, even though it is intimidating to share the real me, or it is kind of a little scary to share the real me, of real version of me but in the end it's just me so I don't know <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking huh. so after we're done with the outline I'll just drop all the marks of the pencil all the extra pencil marks over here whatever I made whatever I said right now did that did any of it make sense were you able to relate to it if you're watching till here?
Wow. Lovely. I love it. I love it. Great. I'm really happy with this drawing. How it turned out to be. And I will take just five minutes to have a little chat with you all and I will come back with this um, with the painting of this drawing I will come back on Monday on a live stream where we will be painting this drawing right here oh I'm absolutely loving it oh my god <laughs> I know maybe if I come back on Monday I have maybe I have some more things added to her you never know what's going to happen but uh, before ending the live stream, I'll move, just move the camera towards my face. Okay. Great. So I have my camera towards my face. And before I end the live stream, I would like to really thank you, all of you, whoever joined me in this. Ooh, this is how I'm happy when I get a drawing that I'm satisfied with to paint on. And I got it today and I'm really proud of it. Yes. So, hmm, I'll just take five minutes and we will just talk to each other uh, for some time. Hey, thank you. The, uh, Annette says, I really enjoy your live stream. Thank you so much, Annette. And I really enjoyed being with your, you here as well. I'm kind of, I think I'm getting addicted. <laughs> it's so much fun having this live stream. I would never want to draw or paint alone again. I would want you all to come up, come along with me. That'll be fun. <laughs> but anyways, um, Nemi, are you here? Are you here? I wanted to ask you one question. It is officially, it's 8th today, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh my God. Only six days left till the uh, first class of Artisha's Art Academy releases. Annette, you have joined in. Nimi, you have joined in. Are you all excited? Like, are you all looking forward to it? I'm actually looking so much forward to it because, uh, I don't know. Because, you know, that's my first class and first, are always so special and I cannot even explain how much I have worked hard on it uh, I have put in my like best and everything I could uh, put out there you know to get that class in the in the best form possible and I have tried to explain each and every little thing in that class that was uh, possible for me so I'm very excited and I, have ho I hope you all are ex uh, excited as well. We are in all 14 of us uh, till now officially in that class who will be joining uh, on the 15th together to learn how to paint this painting right here. And so that is it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm looking over there because, you know, I have my laptop in front of me. And uh, I'm looking at your comments as they are appearing over there under the live stream. So that's why my eyes go there time, <laughs> time and again. But... I'm really glad that you enjoyed this live stream and I would like to end here and I would like you to join me on Monday once again where we will be watching how I paint this painting. So I will see you there. Till then, bye. Happy creating. Bye.